Welcome back to Good Morning and TJ Barbuda. Thank you so much for being with us on a beautiful Wednesday. That is Wednesday, 30th of July 2014. I am Bruce Marsh. We're broadcasting live downtown St. John's, Antigua. Wherever you are, it is an absolute pleasure being in your company. Our job is to keep you informed, let you know what's happening in and around the island. And also, you know we love putting smiles on your faces. The doctors are here, and they will agree with me when I say a smile a day keeps the doctor away who they are we out with us are vicky fackler nurse clinical um she is within the internal medicine and dr benjamin walker assistant dean at the office of minority student development both at uh, georgetown university that is in washington dc and a lady who is no stranger here in antigua and on good morning antigua barbuda the very lovely dr deborah I can date. Let's say good morning to them. Good, good morning, morning, all. Good morning. Good morning. And it's nice sitting amongst beautiful people. Thank you. Beautiful <laughs> you black too. people. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, thank you. You know, they say misery likes company, but beauty likes company. Yes, it does. <laughs> so it's it's my absolute pleasure. Good to have you in Antigua and thank Barbuda. You. Is it your first time here, Doctor? It is my first time. Your first time? It's my first time. I to truly hope, Dr. Walker, you will be able to go to the beach, experience our fine cuisine and our island life. I'm looking forward to it. We've yeah. experienced a lot of the island. Haven't gotten to the beaches yet, but we're ready. <laughs> and Ms. Fackler, is it your first time here too? It is. My Excellent. very first time. Well, I, I want to make sure that you get some mangoes and it's mango they season here. That. You get the, yeah. to enjoy the beach. They got some from my yard. They got yes, some from yes, your yard, yes. Dr. Candy. Good stuff. I know you're here to work, but you have, you have to have a little play yes. as well. Dr. Candy, great seeing you. How have you been? Oh, just great. Thank you so much. And the school is doing great. It's Excellent. Doing great. And before we start, I, I want to, of course, start with you and you will tell us uh, the reason why these two mm -hmm. fine people are here in Antigua and Barbuda. Okay. And give us an update on the University of Health Sciences. Oh, thank you so much. Well, um, I met Dr. Walker initially at a conference um, maybe almost two years ago. And he um, was the person who spoke to me about um, the possibility of our having a clinic in our area where our students would also be involved. So that kind of evolved. I went to Georgetown and I met, we met a number of the faculty there. They were so welcoming uh, to me and also the per, uh, Dr. Scranich who was with me. And um, we are now getting ready to open a, the free clinic at English Harbor. And it, it, is a, it is a clinic where students will be involved. However, patients will be treated by the nurses and um, physician on staff. The medical school now, um, the University of Health Sciences Antigua in Piccadilly now has a um, Bachelor of, in Science in Nursing, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. So we have um, nurses who come from around the region to, uh, come, to, to come to the school for a one-year program to receive their bachelor's degree. So that means that we have students who are already nurses and who will be able to help in, within the clinic. And that was one thing that was very attractive to um, Dr. Moore that I met at uh, Georgetown and other people, the fact that we had a nursing school. I'm sure Ms. Fackler would be able uh, to expound on that, yes. uh, the mm -hmm. importance of nurses mm -hmm. are in the medical, uh, I should say fraternity, yes. uh, uh, the science, and the important role that they play within clinics and hospitals. How important is it for nurses to further their education? It's absolutely imperative. Um, as the medical field expands, nursing responsibilities have grown threefold, if, if not more. Um, nurses are responsible not only for the hands-on care, but for patient education. So it's very important that we become experts in several fields in order to take care of our patients properly. And so is this a program you would recommend to our, our local nurses? Our local nurses can be a part of the University of Health Sciences, right? We've had a number to come through the program already. We have graduates from the nursing school who came for a year at the school. 
And I want to believe that this opens a world of opportunities for nurses are having, you know, received a bachelor's degree in nursing. Absolutely, and from there, they can teach, um, they can go further for, with advanced degrees and become practitioners, um, able to prescribe, see patients on their own, depending on the locality and the rules there. Um, it's tremendous, and in this setting, with the new clinic opening, the nursing, the education part is huge and the nurses are trained to handle that and to give that to the patients. We're very, very big in health maintenance and health prevention and good health promotion and the nurses can effectively do that. Dr. Walker, you'll be a major part of the setting up of the clinic. Uh, tell us about your role. So my role, is, as Dr. Kende said, was to give her the idea and so because we have a health we have a clinic that is student run at georgetown it's, it's the hoya clinic and there it's 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 a great opportunity for the students from the medical school where i am to come in and treat patients and be with patients and get that learning it kind of brings the the learning alive it brings the books alive and they are there they get to see patients and they manage the care of that of those patients so the idea when I was talking to Dr. Conde about the island and the surrounding community, I thought it'd be a good idea to bring the medical students there, give them an opportunity to see patients in a real world environment, and it would be a learning opportunity for them, but it'd also be a boon for the community because it's, it's adding another healthcare outlet to the community. And so our job here is to help them set up the clinic in the Hoya clinic model, but then also to get the education there. So not only the education for the students of the medical school, but also the medical students educating the community. So we have education all the way around to increase the health of the literacy and hopefully then to decrease the health disparities in the region or, or globally when you have greater education. So I'm working with with, with Vicki and with Dr. Frack, uh, uh, Dr. Conde to really set this up and set this clinic and put it in a, a network of clinics that are already there in order to further the network. So we've had great conversations thus far uh, with the people who run the clinics, with the, the Minister of Health and so on to really get this off the ground and running. So How long will you be on island to ensure that the clinic is started and to ensure that the operation is the way it ought to be, of course, juxtaposed to the clinic in Georgetown. Right. Well, unfortunately, we're leaving Friday. <laughs> unfortunately, <laughs> but, but but we, we are very happy to come back. Um, but I envision that we will be, I'm always in contact with Dr. Kende, so we would be in contact and, and coming back down and helping set up, we, were, we, we vis visited the, the site and we helped give ideas with patient flow of, you know, so they're building, they're renovating. So we helped set up, add a wall here, add a door here. <laughs> add, so we were very fortunate to be here at this time. And then the plan is we'll, we'll be back. I was just about to ask you, so when will you come back? I think they don't want to leave. But um, we, they're on our board. They are one of the, the members board, of right? the free clinic board. And we have meetings by video conferencing at the school. So that, will, um, that makes it easy for us to constantly stay updated mm -hmm. and have contact. So uh, hopefully it'll be maybe around the time of the opening that yep. we will see we'll them again. And here at the maybe opening, Dr. Yes. Moore. Whereabouts in English Harbor okay. will the clinic be located? Well, if you're driving toward the dockyard, just before you make the turn to go to, toward English Harbor, there's a two-story building with a huge banner outside. So it's, you can't possibly miss it. It's really a, a big two-story building. And how often will the clinic be open? Well, what about the operating hours? Okay. Well, the model for a clinic where the students are involved normally would be, um, we're going to start probably with two days. And then we'll see how that how that is from there. Two days a week, per, mm -hmm. in the week, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and we'll probably have hours that go in, that extend into the e into the late evenings. So that is what we'll do initially. 
This has been funded only by the University of Health Sciences? Only by the school and then hopefully uh, we have a number of people on our board, like um, Ms. Anne Marie Martin, the National Parks Commission, who uh, commissioner, who um, we hope will also be able to assist maybe with fundraising. And um, we have persons who will watch over our finances. <laughs> um, our, the manager for ACB, uh, Mr. Glass and Joseph, he's on our board as well. So he'll be really assisting us and helping us. And we have, we've had some, we have some excellent people. We're so grateful for the nursing community. Yes. Ms. Coralita Joseph is on our um, board also. She's one of our faculty members. And she's over all of the clinics in Antigua. So we have a number of people who will be closely watching um, the project develop. The clinic in, in Georgetown, mm -hmm. does it significantly benefit the people of that community? Yes, and, and Vicki is one of the top nurses that, uh, that is at the clinic. And, but it is set in a former hospital in Washington, D.C. that is now a shelter for homeless families. And so the clinic is on site, and for many of them, it is their primary care. So they are seeing, the, the students get the chance to see children through adults. And, and the, the, the idea of, of the shelter is that the families aren't there long term, but the reality is of the economics is sometimes they're there longer than they want. So mm -hmm. it is critical for them to have that care and it gets them into a clinic and gets them not only seen, but also used to going to physicians, seeing physicians, so that when they are, when they do get on their feet and they leave the homeless shelter, then hopefully that will continue. And then they, they will keep with the well baby visits. If they have a, a, a problem, they won't wait long. They will go and get it treated. That's the, that's the plan. Vicki can speak to it much more. I was, just, yeah. I was, yeah. I was just, just about to invite. Can we specify the role of the student? Absolutely. Yes, really yeah. the yeah. yes I was Absolutely. just about to invite nurse. I'll, I'll, I'll have to give you your accolades. I have to call you Nurse Fackler. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. I'm very proud She's to be called the nurse. nurse of the year for Georgetown nurse University. For 2013. Oh, <laughs> somebody should have given me that information. <laughs> She's the From nurse the of the year. Congratulations, Thank you. Nurse Fackler. Thank you. How long have you been in the nursing business? Business. I have been a nurse for almost 24 years. Wow, that's almost as long as I've been alive. <laughs> I'm a lot older than that, but almost. That's a long time to be a nurse. It is. Have you always wanted I to? I have always wanted to be a nurse. There's nothing else that I have ever wanted to do. Uh, there's nothing else I ever want to do. It is the best job. I don't feel like it's a job. It's who I am. I am a nurse who happens to be Vicki Fackler, yes. but I am a nurse 24-7. Um, and, and this particular clinic, uh, the model we're adopting here in Antigua, it is both beneficial to the people in the community totally. and also to the students at it's Georgetown very, University. It's very, very beneficial. In our model at Georgetown University's Hoya Clinic, um, we have different levels of student com students coming in to treat the patients and see the patients in conjunction with the physicians that are there. And we have them in their first year where they're brand new and they're scared to death to touch an actual patient. And then we get to see them as they move through their medical training to become more confident, uh, more assertive. And it's just a beautiful thing to see. The nurse's role also in that is to help guide them through that process because the nurses that do volunteer at our Hoya Clinic are very experienced nurses. We do uh, a tremendous amount of things there. We draw blood, we run labs, uh, and we're teaching the students to do the same so that when they go into the hospital as practicing physicians, they're ready to do that. And a part of it also is to establish a very collaborative, healthy relationship between physicians and nurses that we hope will continue through their practice. At our clinic in Antigua and Barbuda in the English Harbor area, Will it be called the University of Health Sciences Clinic? Uh, no, it's called the Free Clinic. The Free at Clinic English at English Harbor. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the things you will be doing there and you will not be doing there? Uh, we're, um, it was suggest. well, d Ms. Coralita Joseph has told us that we really will mm -hmm. not do vaccinations. But most other services we will try, we're going to try to accommodate. 
we initially will, will be referring uh, laboratory tests outside. But um, you should be able to come in and get that flu shot or if, you're, if you have a cut, that's, you should be able to come there for that. Wellness visits. We're, we're planning to have a clinic that is having um, more, most services, mm -hmm. primary care services. Okay. You'll be able to see our, our physician? Yes. What, mm -hmm. When you come to our clinic, you will, um, the, the student will screen the patient, uh, welcome the patient, take the health history, take their blood pressures, take their chief complaint, and then they will report that, those findings now to the physician on duty or to the nurse on duty who will then analyze those findings and examine the patient and then the physician and nurse are actually will be treating the patient. But the students will do the initial screening and they will also be there to watch and, and to learn. Mm -hmm. Now I know in Antigua Barbuda, all our communities, uh, we have clinics within yes, the different parishes too. and the different communities. Are you working closely along with our... Well, that was one reason why we, why this clinic came about. The, um, the clinic in our area, English Harbor, has been closed for about three years. So um, during that time, we even had um, people from the community come to the school um, requesting medical care. And most of the residents of our area now go to All Saints or um, maybe to the smaller clinic in Liberta. So that was one reason why we really felt there was a need and we wanted to do the. How work. soon before you open the doors of the free clinic in English Harbor? We really, originally we were hoping September, we're really pushing for that, but I would say September, October, we should be able to have our opening. Absolutely. And let's talk futuristically. I, I want to get uh, from Dr. Walker and Nurse Fackler and also from you, the future of this clinic, what, what are really your hopes for this free clinic in Antigua and Barbuda? Okay, so some of the things that Dr. Kinde talked about at that conference when we first started thinking about this idea is that it almost becomes a medical home for, for the community. And what, what that is, is it has all services, so all student-driven, uh, student-involved. So we have optometry, we have dental, we have, of course, primary care medical. And then we also have community education. We have community nights. So we can have the, the community come in and learn about health disparities and their health. We have patient education so they learn about what it will be like in a visit. So when the physician is talking to them, what do those words mean? What does hypertension mean? What is, so we know what that is and we have education. So we really envision that this is going to be a full service clinic that is integrated with the other clinics around, with the electronic medical records so that we can track data, we can keep uh, information, we can know about disease incidences around the island uh, with this connection with the other clinics and also with the, the main hospital so that patients, if they're seen in our clinic, they can also go to another clinic and they don't have to transfer that record, it's there. They can see, so it really created a network of health for the communities surrounding the school, but also for, for the island in general. And at the same time, the students, they get hands-on hands training. On. Absolutely. I guess that, absolutely. That is awesome. That is key. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, that's what we call in Antigua, killing two birds with one stone. Absolutely. That's right. <laughs> right. You, if you know what that means. Yes, we do. <laughs> we do. We don't really <laughs> kill them. <laughs> like that. That's just getting the job done. It is exactly right. <laughs> All right, excellent. Now, let me hear from you, please, Nurse Fackler. The trend in healthcare right now is that a lot of non- acute issues in care is moving out of the hospital and into ambulatory clinics. Mm -hmm. That is the trend that's coming. So these clinics are imperative to maintain the health of the community. Um, an empowered patient is a healthy patient. Uh, it, they can be their own advocate and they're not privy to myths or old wives tales in the community that may be harmful to them. And in the Caribbean we have a lot. Lots. <laughs> we, we have a lot of them in the United States yeah. as well. So that is a huge part of the mission with the students. You know, they, they come in, they're still young, they're still fresh, and we're showing them also the art of communication and the art of yes. communication with a diverse population. 
a nice part of this clinic also is that we intend to keep the flavor of the island in there. Um, you know, we hope to decorate it and set it up in a way that that's appreciated because that is going to be part of our community. So we don't want that to be separate. And we want to take a lot of the nature, the natural essence of the community and work that into patient care because that's holistic. And I appreciate that because the English Harbor area, uh, that's where my family is from, mm -hmm. Marsh, yes. and that is a very historic area. Yes. Not is it only historic, it is a tourist area. Mm -hmm. And when you come about a sailing week that is earlier in the year, you, it's the hustle and the bustle and it becomes tourist central. So that <laughs> clinic will help the yachties, it will help our tourists. Absolutely. They visit the Nelson's Dockyard on a mm -hmm. daily basis. So I think it's the perfect place to have a clinic. You're not just Thank helping you. our community, but you're also helping our tourism product at the same time. Thank you. We're ecstatic. Yeah. Not We're more ecstatic. than we are. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We are very happy. You have the final words, Dr. Akande. <laughs> Well, I just want to say I'm, I'm we're really grateful that this whole project has been so well received. You know, everyone, I haven't, there hasn't been anyone that we've talked to no. who didn't really want it to happen, who and who were not really ready to join in. We've had people even to donate so far, you know, um, various items for the clinic. So we're just really happy for all the help that we're receiving for from the community, our community, because we've been there for over 30 <laughs> years, you know. We're part of that community. And uh, we just see really great things for the, for the clinic. And I also want to, you know, we've had some, um, we've been so well received, even by our nursing community. And um, our students are in the clinics. You know, we're just very grateful for the opportunities we've been given so far. And we hope that this will just be another addition. And I anticipate the opening of that clinic and all the wonderful things that that clinic will do within that community. And I know that that clinic will not just serve the English Harbor area, but also the surrounding areas. Yes, For example, the Berter mm -hmm. is very close, Falmouth, it will. and the villages that are very close to that clinic. I know there's a clinic in Liberta, mm -hmm. but it's um, St. Paul. It's a, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty big community, St. Paul's. Yes. So I know that the clinic will do well. Oh, thank you. All the best of luck to you. Thank I'll you. keep you in my prayers. All your students and the thank support you. from the, the Washington, the George Washington, Washington Georgetown, Georgetown, Georgetown Town University. University. <laughs> there is what am I saying? When you, when you get to my age, these things happen. <laughs> the Georgetown <laughs> University. Yes. All the best of luck with your clinic and thank you so much for assisting the University of Health Sciences. Thank you. It's our pleasure. It is much appreciated. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Thank and you. And make sure, and if she doesn't do it, you let me know. Okay. <laughs> if Dr. Kanye doesn't do it, you let me know. And make sure you get some more mangoes. You have to get some fungi, dukuna, saltfish, oh. some oh. local food, and make sure you go to the beach. Yes. Will do. Okay. Okay. Will do. No, and no. I, I'm not a doctor of science, but I'm a doctor of talk. <laughs> okay? Yes, so you have heard it from the doctor. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Check. Right. <laughs> This is Good Morning Antigua Barbuda. Always a pleasure being in your company. Good morning to you, Monstrat, St. Kitts, Nevis, and those of you watching and listening on the Super Information Highway. Don't you go anywhere. We've got much more.